In a crime alert, a Memphis mother is looking at charges accused of attacking a police officer to try to keep her son from being taken into custody. WRG Shay Arthur is live tonight with what investigators say unfolded. And Shay, go ahead, fill us in. What do you know? Hey, Greg, well, last check, she's here in jail tonight on an assault charge after her son had warrants out for his arrest. His mother, 32 year old Xavier Crawford, looks at a list of charges after Memphis police say she tried to stop officers from picking up her son on outstanding warrants yesterday. Because we believe her son is under the age of 18, we aren't naming him. But here is what investigators tell us happened when officers went to pick up Crawford's son on warrants for violation of probation and theft of property in South Memphis off Cynthia Place and St. Paul Avenue. Crawford opened the back door of the car he was inside of and shielded herself between an officer and her son. As the son started to get out of the car, Crawford is accused of grabbing a hold of the officer and swinging at him while her son took off, while repeatedly yelling for him to run. We check with the court. The name matching Crawford's son shows to have 18 total contacts with the court. They include multiple theft of property cases, as well as multiple burglary of vehicle cases, attempted burglary of a vehicle, unlawful possession of a weapon, assault, and vandalism. A deputy chief with Memphis Police told us this about crime in the Bluff City involving young people. You've got to change the mindset of the juvenile, okay? Like young ages, they're influenced by a lot of factors that are in the community. Um, we've just got to get back to where you have parental oversight, parental involvement, and community involvement. Uh, you know, a long time ago, it used to be that if the parent were absent at work, what have you, that the community would kind of look out for the child, and we're not seeing that as much anymore. With many children being influenced by outside factors, not realizing the danger eventually lying ahead. And last check, no bond information was available for Crawford. We're live downtown tonight, Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3.